Um, hi guys, I hope everyone is good. Okay, today it's a product rule. Product rule, which is uh, basics from. So we 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 did basics in N N four. So now we're just taking it a step further. So let's see. So remember your product rule. It's that one. If I have a function multiplying another function or product of two functions, you must do a product rule. And this is in your formula sheet under differentiation. There's a there's another section for product rule. You have the formula. So it says if you have y equals to u times v, your answer will be u times v prime plus v and u prime so we know v prime is the derivative of v of v u means the derivative of v for example if i have for example if i have y equals to sine x times ex my answer will be what first it's we know this is u this is v first u times if i derive times v prime right if i derive v ex I'm, I'm having ex doesn't change plus what v times u prime if i derive sine i'm getting cos that's my answer don't simplify don't take out ex as common it's, un it's not necessary so the same here if i have uh y it's tan x and lin x we know the first if i derive the first one will be u times the derivative of v which is 1 over x plus v times the derivative of u which is tan which gives us x squared x that's product rule so of course when you write they might be a bit complicated but we, let's do them and see let's do three examples only so i have this first example from one of the question papers i don't know which year but this was question four and uh, question two i mean you have y it's e exponent bx then we have times lin of ax squared minus bx plus c There we can see this is product rule. You have e multiplying lin, so your answer will be what? The answer first thing is u times v prime. If I if I multiply, if I derive a uh, v, okay, let me make proper bracket. If I derive v, I know I'll have one over everything there, a x squared minus b x. plus c then times the derivative of inside remember it's chain rule we started with lean now we're going inside times the derivative of inside the derivative of inside will be 2 ax minus b you see now plus what plus v times the derivative of e the derivative of e first step you write it as it is times the derivative of the exponent which is b then you are done. That's your your product rule. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, another one. We have y is cosec five x times e exponent eight x. Differentiate that. So we know we are starting with u times the derivative of e of v which is e 8x times 8 plus v times the derivative of u if we derive cosec we get negative cosec cot but remember it's cosec 5x cot 5x then now you derive also 5x we get 5 that's your answer there remember don't simplify leave it there don't simplify you see this one was only two marks because this it didn't do much okay let me see if we can get the last one 
most questions are question rule they don't give you product rule product rule you usually get it on your normal chain rules you know, and everything but to give you product rule on its own you don't usually uh, get it okay we have this last one we have uh arc code arc code x and lean one plus x squared okay they use square bracket for lean to differentiate so we have cut and lean multiplying so we know the answer one line again the answer we start with a cut times the derivative of lean the derivative of lean we know it will be one over that times the derivative of that which is 2x and plus lean times the derivative of a cord if you check a cord in your formula sheet it's minus 1 over 1 plus x squared and this 1 plus x squared and this they will, they will never cancel because this one is inside lean that's why I'm, I'm saying avoid simplifying they just leave it as it is see then it's done okay guys thank you i'll see you next time bye bye don't forget to email any questions you might have or leave a comment